Hey everyone, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Cancer for mid-September 2019. Uh, your September 2019 monthlies are up, so you can check those out. They do have the energy healing um, to go along with them. In this message, in this video, you are going to get the message from Spirit. Um, and I do have a couple other decks to pull out here, okay? All right, so... Also, I just want to mention before we move on here is that I do have my mentorship available for purchase. Um, it is a eight week program that I've put together to really heal your past. I take you oh, right there, um, heal your past. I take you step by step through the eight weeks of really how to even find what the hell you need to heal. And really get to the root of all of the issues that are going on in your life. Because a lot of the things um, that are happening right now are not happening because of issues that are going on right now. They're happening because of issues that have happened in the past. We hold on to this. I've worked with so many women over the past two years about we hold on to this for years, 20, 30, 40 years. Wow, guys. Okay. Um, and we fail to let go. And that's what holds us back from a lot of things. And that's what lowers our vibration and really gets us into a funk. So if you're ready to move forward, if you're ready to heal your past, if you're ready to transform your life, which you have the death card here, it looks to me like you are ready. Um, go ahead and look in the description box or in the comments below and you can find out more details about that. All right. All right. So overall energy for the rest of September here is the eight of swords. You guys are fired up. Um, the energy that I was getting before I, I turned the camera on was that you guys have too much shit going on. You have too much stuff, too much stuff going on. So, um, Eight of Swords, you feel trapped, you feel on fire, you feel like you can't see, you feel like there's no light at the end of the tunnel here. Um, you're feeling just very stuck. And you also have the Eight of Wands that came out in reverse, which also is a stuckness for me as well. So definitely feeling like there might be, um, I'm hearing some time to chill, but definitely feeling like you, you might have some anxiety brewing here. You might just feel like you never have time. You might be feeling like you're running from one thing to another. You might feel like you're running away from something. You know, remember these are general readings. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So I'm trying to give you every aspect that this could resonate with, but definitely feeling um, on fire and not in a good way. Okay. You have here though, you have the hermit card. You have the Six of Pentacles and you have the Four of Swords. So this is telling me here with the Hermit card, the Hermit card is like, I always see in this deck, he's covering the candle, but for me, it looks like he's saying stop. And it's like, it's time to stop the nonsense here. It's time to face the facts. It's time to um, really go within. The Hermit card is all about going within. It's about isolating yourself and really just taking the time for you. Because when have you had the time for you is what I'm feeling. When have you put yourself in a situation where you are actually doing what you want to do, not based on what other people want you to do? So definitely feeling like it is time to isolate to, and it doesn't have to be forever. That's what people don't understand is that it does not have to be forever. It's just, it, there's a period of isolation Usually when you're healing, you isolate because you don't know who to trust. You don't know who to look at. And, and you really just need that time to figure yourself out first. So then you can figure the other people around you out as well. And you've got the Six of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. So this is telling me that it's time to isolate. And this card is also is always to me about sharing and giving and you know like you know I feel like this is a teacher and he's and he's giving his students or helping people out because so this is what I'm going to say is that this is a card of experience so find somebody that has what you want and get mentored get get um taught get um um get experience from that person rack their brain like ask them questions um, the best way to kind of get to where you want to go is to find someone that has, is already there and reach out to them and get their guidance, right? See what they do. Um, for me, like running an online business, I had to reach out to people 
that I've already had online businesses and say, yeah, how do I do this? What do I do? You know, and follow those people because it's time for a break here. It's time. It's, uh, it's like, stop trying to do everything by yourself. Stop trying to take every single thing on alone. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to seek guidance. It's okay to not um, have it only be you. All right. So here I am saying you have to isolate but I need you to isolate from the people around you that are making you not feel so great. And then also seek the guidance from somebody more experienced from yourself because that's the way you're going to get a break. You can't do everything on your own. So take a deep breath. Whew, I'm going to take a deep breath. <laughs> once you do this, though, once you are willing to accept and receive something from someone else with the Six of Pentacles, right? And this could be vice versa. So you could be the person supplying the information or helping somebody else out. But just make sure that they are where you want to be or you are where they want to be, okay? So very important. You don't want to learn from people that say they can do something but don't have it. So you don't want to learn about making money from somebody who's broke, okay? Very, very important. Something I learned a while ago. Love this card for you is the death card, is the transformation. This is, you know, hitting rock bottom and growing from there, transforming from there. Rock bottom is not a place you stay at. And there's only one way to go from there. And it's up. And that's what exactly you're going to do is the king of cups you do have the Eight of Wands, so this could mean two things. So the Eight of Wands in reverse can either mean a lack of communication, so there might not be a lot of communicating going on right now. Um, what I'm feeling for you is that there needs to be transformation in the way you communicate, and I always say with the King of Cups here, like you've got to communicate from a place of love rather than resentment or anger, and you're just... I don't know where I was just talking about this today, but it might have been another reading. But um, when you come from a place of resentment and anger, nobody listens. Nobody cares. They're just like, oh, you're angry, right? But when you come from a place of love for yourself and protection for yourself, you, you come across um, more subtle and they're willing to listen because they don't, they're not, they don't feel like they have to be on the defense and you're just sharing what you need. And that's exactly what I'm seeing here for. So definitely um, transformation in the way you perceive things and the way you communicate things are definitely needed here. All right, let's see. Over here, we have Archangel Raphael. And it says, the healing angel is with you, supporting your healing work. So if you are healing, if you're, you know, if you do my monthlies and you do the energy healing, or if you're in my Divine Empress Club where we do our energy healing every single week, um, you know, Archangel Raphael is with you. So anytime you need to heal something, that's the Archangel that you want to call in. And you can just say, you know, I called to you Archangel Raphael in love and light. Please help me release blah, 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 whatever that is for you. All right. But call in Archangel Raphael to release whatever that is, whatever you are feeling like this about or whatever you have to transform down here with the death card there's definitely transformation needed in your life here all right and then you also have here you are a powerful light worker it is safe for you to be powerful your spiritual power brings great blessings in loving service to the divine so amazing. So you've got the Archangel Raphael card and you also have a powerful light worker. So Archangel Raphael can also enhance your healing abilities. So if you are a healer, let me know. I want to know in the comments below if you're psychic, all that stuff. If you're connecting to the divine empath, whatever it is for you, let me know because, you know, you want to use Archangel Michael and you want to use Archangel Raphael when you are doing your healing um, letting go of whatever needs to let go of Archangel Michael can cut the cords, which I have on my website as a meditation you can check out. Um, but definitely, like with this energy, you're calling this in. And just remember, I always teach this in my other course, uh, Heal Your Life. But, you know, remember that you do not have to be completely healed in order to heal others. All right. They you just have to be a step above, just kind of like right. Ooh, cards are popping. 
just right here. Like this person is just more experienced. So it doesn't have to be a tremendous amount more experienced, but this person can help you because they're more experienced. So you can help others just because you're a little bit more experienced. You're one step or two steps um, more along the journey than maybe somebody else. Okay. Very important to remember. All right. Um, so we have here transmission for the vampire card. Now I read these out of the book. I love the author here, Lucy Cavendish. So, um, and it's all in love and light. All right. Transmission, spreading of conditions, influence, impact. Ooh, I'm excited to read this for you. Let's see if it goes along the lines. As much as I've used my vampire cards, can you imagine that there's still some that I have not pulled out and read yet? <laughs> I know I read this, but a while ago. All right, anyway. Um, there are those who cannot bear to be parted. And so even if one has been infected with what you would call a negative, something that is likely to create difficulties and challenges in life or even compromise life, some would rather share the negative experience than be parted by the possibility of two separate experiences. Thus, we have a strange phenomenon. The deliberate adoption of behaviors and attitudes and sometimes even illnesses, almost as if they are infectious, even when they are not. You have names for this in your medical world and your social scientists do work on this too. <clears throat> Excuse me. Who we spend our time with, who we share our lives with, is who we are very likely to become. We are special beings, even us. And we adapt and adopt and become alike over time. It is as simple as observing that who you are with, who you spend your time with, who you choose to surround you will have an influence on you. As your poet John Doan said, no man is an island. And so we sisters are here to tell you of the danger you are courting and the decision you must make. For you are either influencing another very strongly and they make a life-changing decision simply to share life with you more closely. They cannot bear to be separate and will draw closer to you through this. Or another is influencing you very strongly and you would rather endure what some call hell than be separated by diverging experiences. For we sisters, the choice was made long ago. One of us was transformed against her wishes but the other could not be left behind to live and die as a mortal while the other watched. And our different, differing natures growing further and further apart over the years, we could not bear to experience that. So we are together for as long as we can sustain this form. Was this the right thing for us to choose? Should, should we have made another creature deliberately knowing the suffering it may bring? Perhaps we should not have. But for us, facing our lives as separate beings, one a danger to the other, was not even a consideration. For you, your choice may be easier. Think before the influence that need not be takes a little of your soul away. The blessing of this card is you will have someone to travel with on the journey you are undertaking. There will be friendship, laughter, and the sharing of the experience. The curse of this card is feeling guilty for someone wanting to come with you. It is, either, it is either their choice and their soul's journey. Do not deny them the gift of your company simply because the road you share is tough. Working with this card is surround yourself with people and ideas that you wish to be influenced by. Create an amazing support network. Right, don't they say it's like uh, you are the, the, you are the most, you are the five people that you hang out with most? So you got to take a look at your support system. You've got to take a look. And this is where the isolation comes from. It's like, look at who you're hanging out with. And if you're not feeling good, and if you're not feeling, you're feeling numb or depressed, or you're just not happy, look at the people you're hanging out with. Are they happy? Are they truly happy? Excuse me. You need to, you need to fill your life with the people that you want to be like. You want to exactly what I just said here. You want to fill your life with the people that you, where you want to be so that you can, you know, take from them, that you can learn from them, you can absorb their energy. So look at the people that you're hanging around with. And this is saying that, you know, you know, you do not have to make the choice to stay around people that are not making you feel good, even just by being around them. 
you know, judgmental people, people that, you know, are negative, um, that's going to rub off. It's going to rub off. So if you're feeling like this, it, this could be other people's energy, especially if you're an empath. So you want to make sure that you're surrounding yourself with good quality, high vibrational people. So, um, and in the challenge today, um, you know, I just talked about that, about, you know, filling your life with positivity, even your Facebook feed, you know, when you're watching TV, like all that stuff is filling your, filling your mind with positive things. And that's what this is talking about here. All right. So I hope this makes sense to you. Um, let me know in the comments below how it's resonating with you. And, um, I really wish you the best. And if you, if this does resonate, please give me a thumbs up in, in the little thumbs up thing. <laughs> and also make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in working with me for the eight week period to really transform your life and move forward and become, find your happiness really, um, that link is in the, is down below in the description box in the comments. And you can let me know if you have any questions. Much love to you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the month. Bye.